guys, what's up everyone? Welcome to Young Titan World. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. Today we're going to be talking about one particular TV show. A show that I should have watched a long time ago, but I didn't because, you know, the opportunity didn't arise and I obviously had no idea where to get said TV show. But today we're going to be able to talk about it thanks to Telegram. If they ever did sponsor us, like, I would be so stoked. Because uh, that would be so great. Among the, the channels or companies that I want to sponsor us, Telegram is not in the top 10, but it would definitely be an absolute amazing experience if Telegram did sponsor us. Anyways, today we're going to be talking about Boo Bitch. And yes, <laughs> that's exactly the title of the TV show Boo Bitch. Um, it's only one season filled with eight episodes. It's a funny show with a lot of stuff that that that, that exists because of humor. But, oh, oh my! Stay. Yeah, I just knocked over someone's bike, but it's okay. I'm okay. Ah, damn it. Anyways, yes, we are going to be talking about Boo Bitch. Now, um, Boo Bitch is a story about a girl who tries to make the most of her last years in high school, but ends up getting um, slammed by a moose, literally. And uh, as she lies there, she realizes that her ghost is still, you know, it's still capable of holding and being a part of the world in a way that makes sense as you get to it. I think I I zoned out with the whole part about, you know, the girl trying to take down the click just so that she could uh, be closer to the guy that she likes and the guy could actually be free from the fact that she uh, he's in a relationship with a very manipulative person. But I think the, the part that takes actual value to me personally is when we realize that this whole time we thought we are thought we we're talking about um erica vu and the fact that she was dead and she was trying to make peace or settle her business before she bounces out of the realm of the living but it turns out is actually her bestie who is dead a person who is torn like she her mother is not there and it seems like the mother is the only family that she has and so she's like trying to let go of her best friend in a way that she would be okay with you know trying to just get her to be okay with riding solo and my gosh when she finds out when erica finds out you know after she gets on this um this high this high where she gets to be part of the upper class echelon and she becomes so invested in keeping it and then she realizes that her friend is actually the one who's dead and it's insane that even after she realizes that her friend is dead she still has beef with her now everything else that happens in this show is pretty much generic you can find it in any other show but the one thing that really freaks me out is her reaction to the person who is dead you're seeing the spirit of your dead best friend and you still are like you're still i don't know how to put it but you're still so carnal like you you're still like reacting or treating them like they're a, a living being in front of you a person who has life in them the person is dead now i've not had a lot of interactions with people who have died before although i did have a dream about my uncle and he was like shaking my hand whilst his hand was like made up of skeleton so that was really creepy but i think that sort of human emotion where you want to put your needs before someone else to the extent where even if it's a dead person you still 
are angry at them. Now you see, it's like the reason why she feels, or the reason why she was so angry at that time, or the reason why she was so, so enraged enough to hate upon a dead best friend was because the dead best friend was the person that sent a hate comment that made her feel very, very conscious about her past. Because she had to live her entire life in isolation because of something that she did to the girl who was currently in a relationship with the guy that she used to like. I mean, the guy that she actually likes. And throughout this entire thing, it's just her trying to come out of her shell even though she's scared of this person. And once she makes the stand, it's an all new experience for her. The fact that she has to deal with this fame, this popularity, this the fact that everyone's eyes are now on her and the fact that she has to be the person who is in the lead for once. It's scary, it's insane. So actually to have your best friend who has been by your side since the very beginning, be the person who is your hater is definitely one to make your heart grow cold. And I would not blame her for it. It's just, it seemed a little bit extreme that a person who is currently dead and trying to settle her unfinished business is it's met with so much hostility from a person who just recently got close and attached to fame. Kind of makes you think that if people had their ways, they would not be as emotional as we see them to be. And uh, it scares me. It scares me because that could actually be true for some people. Some people could be so tethered to what people think of them, to how they live their lives, that even at the moment of your death, they don't even care enough to give a shit or they don't care enough to care about you. Ooh. They don't care enough to put you first. They don't care enough to see it that you are at peace with the things that you have done in this life. And it's, it's, it's definitely something that uh, really ignited my interest in the show. It kind of made me so sad that it ended so quickly because not only is it just eight episodes, but it's like 25 minutes. Now, after watching TV shows, like Korean shows that last like an hour for one episode where an entire world can change in just one episode, having this end so quickly and be a sort of story that cannot be told twice or that cannot have a continuation is somewhat sad. Because what are you gonna do? Kill another person and make Boo Bitch season two? Or are you gonna kill the other best friend and make a Boo Bitch season three? I, I just, I, I feel as if there's a limit to how much material can be made with this particular story. But all the same, it is a really incredible story. It's a really amazing story too. Because if you think about it, we are not really conscious of the time that we spend together until it's gone. We don't know how much it means to us until the person who is in our life that we appreciated is gone. And it's like, now you just start scrolling through everything and you realize how much of an asshole you've been, how much, you, I mean, we, we just finished watching uh, Spaceman and Spaceman was just so committed to just going out there and fulfilling his own missions, forgetting that the love of his life was going through sudden crisis that caused her to have to deal with all that emotional tragedy all by herself. The fact that she had to do all that by herself, whilst the person that she had invested so much of herself into was the one that was consistently running away from his responsibilities as a lover. It just makes you feel like, oh my gosh, humans can be heartless. And I think Boo Bitch kind of like wants to solidify that claim as we realize that, you know, both of them became a little bit evil in order to uh, venture their own selfish interest. And there can never be a way to justify any of them. So I'll say this. If you really are a good person, I, I hope you can keep that up 
for a very long time because it didn't seem to me like in any of their cases they started off that way. They didn't start off to do the bad thing in the beginning. They started off to do the bad thing the moment it became an issue for them. So it's like it's part of the deal too. That with time people change and become different versions of themselves just because of the new situations and the new environments that they find themselves in. So it's kind of up to you to know what side you're on. Anyways, thank you for listening. Hope you guys um, have a great day. We'll be streaming, so if you want to check us out on the Twitch, that would be amazing. And I hope you do take care of yourself and have an amazing day. Until next time, Young Titan out. Thank you for watching.